Hey guys, I'm here at BlizzCon 2014 with Luis, the lead game designer on World of Warcraft. How's it going, Luis? It's going great. Yeah, it's terrific. Good to meet you, Evan. Yeah, so we're on the cusp of uh, Lords of Draenor coming mm -hmm. out next week on the 13th, of course. Yep. Can you give us a rundown of what's new in the game, just for folks who haven't been paying a detailed oh, attention? Sure. So yeah. we've got a bunch of new stuff. Uh, so to start off, uh, we redid our character models. So if uh, you haven't played WoW in a while, uh, and you remember, uh, you know, your your characters looking the way that computer games looked when World of Warcraft came out. Uh, if you log back in now, uh, that will be a much more updated look, so it will look a lot more like a uh, contemporary games look, while still retaining the, the original charm of the characters. So uh, that's one thing that's new. Uh, another thing that's new is uh, there's a whole new world for you to explore. So in uh, this expansion, you're going to Draenor, which is Outland before Outland got shattered and uh, destroyed and became Outland. But, uh, Draenor is where the Draenor are from and where orcs are from. So it's a very, very core Warcraft place to go to. And we're all super excited for our players to play that core Warcraft content. You're going to interact with completely legendary characters. You're going to interact with Durotan and uh, characters like Akama before uh, you met them in Outland. And uh, even the zones uh, harken back to some of the uh, zones that players have already seen, but in their pristine state. So. Shadowmoon Valley before uh, Illidan took it over. Uh, so things like uh, the Black Temple, before it was the Black Temple, you'll get to see the Temple of Karabor, a holy place where the Draenei, and it's, it's just really, really cool to go visit those places and kind of get that mix of n nostalgia, something old, with, along with something new to you, which is just really exciting for us. Uh, some other stuff that we have uh, that, that is new is we've included uh, a character boost for free with Warlords of Draenor. So if um, you know you have friends that play right now, but you, maybe you haven't played for an expansion or two, and you're not sure if you want to come back because it's like, man, I have to play all this other content to even catch up with my friends. Like, you don't have to worry about it. You can just log in, boost your character, and we'll give you a fresh set of gear. We'll clean out your bags. We'll we'll take care of everything for you, so you're just ready to roll in and join your friends. And, and garrisons are a new system in the game as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Can you speak to what, how those operate specifically and what they provide the players? Yeah, of course. So uh, garrisons are there to uh, let players establish a base of operations against the Iron Horde. So the Iron Horde are the main uh, antagonists of the expansion. And uh, rather than going the, the tradition or purely the traditional uh, questing way of telling that story of how you're waging war against them, where you do individual um, actions against them along with other main, you know, big Warcraft characters. We're going with a very, very traditional Warcraft fantasy. You know, if you go back to the RTS games, you know, the way, how do those start? You start, you build a base, then you build more buildings until you're, you've got a big army and then you, you get ready to attack the enemy. So we thought that was a really, really cool fantasy to chase down. So um, we, we really wanted to try it out and it's, it's turned out great. So um, players will be able to establish a foothold. It'll start small, you know, just a couple buildings. And then as they progress and uh, they develop it more, they can uh, not just uh, develop those buildings, but also uh, open up more building choices. And all these buildings uh, aren't just cosmetic, they, ac they actually have gameplay behind them. So you might, um, you know, like if, if, you, if you choose to go something like uh, the, the lumber mill versus the gladiator sanctum, each of them has very, very specific gameplay behind them. So one of them might give you um, a shredder or one of them might give you uh, followers and stuff, it's, it's, it's all going to change the way you play. It's not purely just cosmetics and it's not purely just, you know, an, an invisible bar like reputation has been in the past, for example. So we're, we're really excited about players trying all these new features, so. From your perspective, like what, what do MMOs have to do to remain really interesting and exciting and relevant to people over the next five years, let's say? Well, one thing I, I, I would love for us, uh, for, for all MMOs to keep trying is embracing their MMO-ness. So um, I know in the past we've been guilty of focusing too much on uh, things, uh, drawing inspiration from single player games, where it's like, oh, here's a cool story moment, here's a cool cinematic, you know. And, and that works well, there's a time and a place for that. But there's something very unique about MMOs, which is you're experiencing a world along with thousands of other players. So I'm excited to, for us to try more things along those lines. I think that that is the future of MMOs. I think MMOs are at their best when you know, you, you tell stories with your friends about, hey, remember that time when we were all, you know, we, we took over that um, 
uh, uh, alliance ship, you know, transport, and we, we just ambush the other guys, right? Mm -hmm. You never, the, the stories you share are, are never like, oh, remember that time when I saw that cinematic and, you know, I was talking to Cadgar, right? It's, it's very different. So we, I think going forward, any innovation that comes from the MMO um, genre is going to be something that embraces that, so. So, so where, yeah, where does World of Warcraft go from here? I mean, what's, what's, does Blizzard have an outlook on how, how long it wants to continue making expansions, continue mm -hmm. making updates? Like, is, is, there, is there an expectation there for you? Well, uh, I think we, I mean, clearly it still has a very, very large player base. And I think with, with Warlords, we're going we're gonna to see a lot of our old players coming back with, with the character boost. I think we're, we're we're kind of going to see a lot of expansions. I'm not I'm not even thinking about when do we stop right now. I think we're we're still in full throttle mode here, so it's very exciting to just feel like how how, how much longer this game has to, to offer our players, especially because we're committed to keep updating it, to keep giving it new features, and um, yeah, we're not we're not stopping anytime soon. Great. Yeah. Can you also speak specifically to the PvP changes in Draenor because they seem they seem pretty significant on paper? So yeah, we we have a zone dedicated to PvP. So, so I, I, what I really, what I really like about the idea of that zone is that normally with PvP, we are, we bound, we, we tune it into something that is very, very balanced, right? We, we look at all the angles. We go, hey, this class is a little too overpowered against this class. Buff it five percent, nerf this one five percent, and it, it's, it's almost surgical, right? When you look at Ashran, we're kind of saying, screw it. You're an Ashran, you're there to have fun, you can break the rules. Mm -hmm. um, so it's gonna be very exciting. We, we, we've given ourselves permission to break the rules. And finally, you guys also have a, a new raid difficulty, a mythic raid difficulty mm -hmm. in Draenor. Can you speak to how that's not simply, hopefully, like, like an increase of hit points for, for the bosses? So I, I, I can't really, that's not necessarily my area, okay. so, but uh, I, I can tell you that in general for each specific uh, layer of difficulty that we do, we don't just tweak numbers. We also uh, kind of manage the complexity and the tightness of a fight, you know? So if something uh, presents you, if something requires flawless execution to achieve a, a mechanic, right? Like, we will relax that in LFR, we'll relax it in normal, right? But Mythic is where we really just kind of tune it to the max there. But um, Having said that, that, that's not something I can talk about with really, really great expertise, but... Yeah, no problem. Well, Luis, good luck with the launch next week. Well, thank you very much. Yeah.